Born on the 31st of October in 1920 in Kaiserslautern, Fritz Walter was the driving force in West Germany's famous FIFA World Cup triumph in 1954. Operating as an attacking midfielder, he scored three goals in 11 FIFA World Cup matches. Valtar was an inspirational captain and one of the most respected players of his generation. Fritz Valtar made his long-awaited FIFA World Cup debut at the 1954 finals in Switzerland. Aged 33, he was an established member of the German team and keen to make an impression on the world's biggest stage. West Germany started the tournament well, beating Turkey 4-1. However, in their next match, they fielded an understrength side and suffered an embarrassing defeat. Sandor Kocsic inspired Hungary to an incredible 8-3 victory, scoring four goals. In the must-win playoff match against Turkey, West Germany showed their class and captain Fritz Valtar was inspirational throughout. He scored his first goal of the tournament in the 62nd minute, placing the ball into the back of the net from close range. Prolific striker Max Morlock completed his hat-trick in the 77th minute, securing an impressive 7-2 victory for the Germans. Despite much criticism, Sepp Herberger's strategy of resting some of his better players against Hungary had paid off. West Germany progressed to the quarter-finals. At the Charmillet Stadium in Geneva, they faced a tough test against a talented Yugoslavian team. West Germany started the match brightly and had Yugoslavian defender Ivan Horvat to thank for their opening goal. From then on, they were thankful to goalkeeper Tony Turek, who pulled off a string of fine saves. The Germans defended in numbers, hitting their opponents with quick and incisive counter-attacks. Helmut Rahn sealed a hard-fought 2-0 victory in the 85th minute with a fine finish. West Germany had booked a place in the semi-finals and they celebrated in style. Against Austria, West Germany started where they had left off against Yugoslavia with a devastating display of attacking football. Yet again, Valtar was the driving force, setting up the first for Hans Schaefer in the 31st minute and the second for Max Morlock in the 47th. In the second half, Valtar scored his second goal in the finals from the penalty spot and then set up his brother, Otmar Valtar, for West Germany's fourth. With his team strolling to victory, German coach Sepp Herberger was given a scare midway into the second half when his captain suffered a worrying injury. To everyone's relief, Valtar was back on his feet in no time, driving his team forward. His next foray towards the Austrian goal resulted in referee Vincenzo Orlandini awarding West Germany a penalty. Once again, he picked himself up to convert his second penalty of the game. Otmar Valtar completed an unexpected but nevertheless deserved 6-1 victory in the 89th minute. The final in Bern produced one of the most incredible matches in the tournament's history. West Germany avenged their 8-3 defeat to Hungary in the group stages with a famous victory. Fritz Valtar inspired an unlikely upset, with West Germany coming from two goals down to beat the mighty Magyars 3-2. Helmut Rahn grabbed the winning goal with a superb finish in the 85th minute. The victory restored national pride after the horrors of conflict, and Fritz Valtar became the first German captain to lift the Jules Rimet trophy. 
Four years after the miracle of Bern, Valtar was persuaded to come out of retirement to help West Germany retain their title. By this time, he had lost the captaincy to Hans Schaefer, but remained West Germany's most influential player. At the age of 37, Valtar helped West Germany to the semi-finals, a match they eventually lost 3-1 to the hosts. A crunching tackle by Swedish midfielder Sigvard Parling ended Valtar's international career and with it his team's hopes. A sporting ambassador for Germany's re-emergence into the world community, Fritz Valtar is a footballing legend in his own right. A FIFA World Cup winner in 1954, he was the embodiment of fair play and sportsmanship and will remain an inspiration to future generations.